My name's Gershawn Kutsi and this is Mellow TV. As a parent, you might have fears or concerns regarding COVID and vaccinations. Well, we speak to two of our paediatricians, Dr. Mandy Mayer and Dr. Ryan Moore, who share their experience and give sound advice regarding COVID and vaccinations. We have definitely also seen an, an uptick in cases of influenza. Um, we, some of the kids have needed admission, many of them have had tight chests or wheezy chests, um, also very blocked nose, some fever, um, but we're always cautious when small babies or infants become very sick because they can very easily develop complications. Sometimes the symptoms overlap with what we would think is COVID um, and when the children end up getting admitted we often um, we find that the test is either COVID positive or if we do further testing we find the influenza. Um, but in the end we, we do keep a very close eye on them and we support their breathing and make sure that they're getting enough feeds. Um, and certainly if, if um, parents are noticing that their children have any worrisome signs such as high fever or difficulty breathing or wheeze um, or they're just worried about their child um, to certainly consult um, with a health professional. I think the important thing for parents really at this time is to stay calm. Remember that you've still got to do all of the normal routine things. Um, we find some parents are uh, forgetting about vaccinations. We have other illnesses as well. There's a lot of illnesses that can affect children. It's not just COVID and I think with children socializing more um, and, and seeing their friends a little bit more than maybe they did in the first year of COVID, they are being exposed to the normal viruses like flus and, and adenovirus and uh, yeah, all of those kind of normal viruses. So those kids are still coming in. But we are always cautious when especially small babies or infants become very sick because they can develop complications if we don't keep a close eye on them. Um, so I would suggest to parents that if their, parent, if their children have any warning signs, if they have high fevers, if they're not keeping any of their feeds down, um, if they're having difficulty breathing or wheeze, or also if they're having watery diarrhea, that they seek help from their healthcare provider. Now doctors are parents too. And for paediatrician Dr. Mandy Mayer, being in theatre while a mom is giving birth is a special time. I think part of my favourite um, thing of being a paediatrician is actually being present at births. Um, and I love neonatal work and I love uh, working in ICU, but actually a normal happy birth um, with a child there whose uh, parents get to welcome their bundle of joy into the world um, and the excitement that that brings and being a part of that is probably the biggest privilege of the job um, and just yeah um, kind of seeing how these parents um, their whole lives change and following that journey with them is, is really something that you you can't really compare it to any other job. You know, that, that is, that's the one big benefit of, of what we do. So I think um, often children are the more vulnerable portion of the pop, uh, population. We tend to um, focus often on, on adult patients who are coming into the casualties and because they are often more vocal and able to describe their, um, their distress um, more better than children are. And so sometimes children fall by the wayside and, the, and their health certainly during the pandemic, as we've seen, um, may have taken a back seat where people are avoiding taking their kids in for their routine checkups and their routine vaccinations. Um, and in that way, children, um, uh, children's health is kind of becoming um, sick of secondary importance during the pandemic. In closing, um, my message to all parents is really um, don't forget the routine stuff. You know, COVID is around. I think COVID's going to be around for a while. We help, hope this new Omicron variant is maybe not as severe, but it is going to be around for a while. And I think the important thing is really to keep up with the things that we did before COVID. So vaccinating your children, um, making sure they get their vitamin A and deworming, um, bringing them for their checks, um, thinking about getting your flu vaccine and um, just 
actually enjoying watching your children grow and being a part of that. Thank you to Dr. Mandy Mayer and Dr. Ryan Moore for joining us on Mallow TV. If you do require the services of a paediatrician, their contact details is on the screen. And once again, if you are in need of emergency services, the Malamed 24 Ambulance Service is available on 0800 786 000. Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones. Goodbye.